Say name. Uh, my name is Daniel Salazar. I also go to Fremont. Uh, my name is Tommy Arizo. I go to Fremont. And where and where are y'all? Fremont. In Oakland, Oakland California. Oakland. Oh, California also? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Hi, and this is Paul Allison, and the broadcast did just start, so anything right, we're going so to do. Yeah. Yes, they're all in high school. Yes, they're all in high school. Oh? Well, Drew, Drew just works in high school. Oh, school. so Drew does work in high school? No. Say some. Ask Drew where he works. Where do you work? So I work at a company called Guru. It's not in a school. Wait, 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 wait. It's in a, it's can in a you building. Can you, can, you, can you say the word that you said from last time again? So I work for a company called Guru. It's not actually in a school. It's in a it's in a building in Palo Alto. Guru. 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 G O O R U. Do you guys do you guys know where when you get your ancient Egypt um, assignments, uh -huh. Uh -huh. some of those are on a program called Guru. Okay. Okay. So you see all the work that we do. So my job is to introduce Guru to new teachers and, uh, and new students. So I don't actually see everything you do, but we just make it uh, available to other teachers and students uh, across the country and in different countries too. Uh, can I join you? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, no problem. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Chris Sloan. I teach in Utah, and um, we're going to be joined by Nick. Oh, shut up! Um, we're going to be joined by Nick in just a second, who's doing some video game research. So, Mr. Allison, uh, Paul has Nick's contact information, so uh, you'll see my class in another uh, room here in just a second. Um, hey, do we have any resources on, um, is there a way that, or how could the students here on this end be able to use Guru potentially? Can you explain what what they could do with it if they're going if the if that was an avenue they wanted to explore? Can you give yeah. a synopsis of Guru that that what's the power yeah. tool for all three of them? Yeah, for sure. So if you guys uh, are looking for uh, to do some background research, you're looking for some articles, you're looking for some videos, you're looking for maybe some interactive resource. You could use uh, www.gurulearning.org to find things you like, and then once you find things you like, you can essentially add them to a collection. So you can start creating a collection of the things you find in Guru that you like. But you could also find things from all over the web that you you like as well. And you can add those. And so. You want to? Thank you. Okay, Nick is here. Hello. Can you hear us? Hello. Hello. Hi. Click on this. Yeah. You want to do microphone? Hey, okay. All right, so you can just tell them. Yeah. Hello, Jonathan. Or Nick, whatever, sorry. My name's Nick, and I'm researching video games and, like, the effects they have on kids, like, if they're positive or negative, and, like, will it affect your schoolwork more? And, like, when you go home, do you want to just play video games all night or actually, like, work on your studies? Hi, Nick. Um... We also have Tommy online. I don't know if you guys have started your conversation yet, but he's also doing some games and the impact on education or on, on the student, especially. So it would be cool if you guys could get a conversation going even outside of our hangout today. What do you think? Yeah, I'd like that. Just that to would be awesome. ideas, that'd be good. Cool. Okay. Um, Okay, so why don't we go around and do one more time, like where uh, Nick, thanks for sharing. What about Daniel? Do you want to talk about what your research is? Uh, my research is about like how technology affects students, like positive and negative effects, but I think I'm just focusing more on the negative effects that it has. Yeah, I think on mine too, I'm just going to kind of focus on more of the negative aspects of it and like how it's just like not as good for kids when it comes to schoolwork. 
what what's something you've already found out, Nick? Like, what are some of those negative effects? Maybe we can start a conversation there. I know it can like cause laziness and just no motivation in school. And like, I even know a kid who dropped out of school, and I personally think it might be because of video games, because that's most of what his life is. He would like skip school and just focus on playing video games all day. And so those just kind of take away from your motivation in school. And Tommy, you want to say? Um, and then let's. Tommy's the one that's also doing this explicit the, okay. video game. So come on up, Tommy, so we can totally hear you. Uh, hi. Uh, my research is about the mental effect of video game, but I focus more on the positive effects because I feel like. Uh, yeah, hold on, hold on. Okay, keep going, Tommy. Sorry. Yeah, I focus more on the positive effect of video games because I feel like that, like there are many people who say that uh, video games are best. Like uh, they say that the violence is the main, is the main. Like video game is the main cause violence, but I don't feel, I don't think so. I feel that because I feel that uh, I learned everything, I learned many things about video game. Like uh, I'm a gamer, so I feel. Uh, there must be something good about video game. That's why I try to focus on the positive of the video game. Yeah, I think some good things come out of it. Like you can become more creative, and like even when it comes to like sports games, you can learn about the sports and ideas with that. But like, yeah, like on my research, I'm just gonna focus on like the negative parts, like uh, like motivation and like laziness that can come with them. Yes. So, uh, Nick, I'm curious, what kind of what kind of work out in the? Are you gonna like I said, you, you said you knew a friend that, or you have a friend where it affected um, his how he did in school. Uh, what uh, what other things are you gonna do for your research? Um, I'm just gonna kind of look at more cases and like look at the studies of like how they affect kids, like more like wide range from ages. If it like starts at an early age, from like. Let's say like kindergarten, if those games start like creating habits where you're not as like hard working in school as you could be, and then just how it develops throughout more like intense games, okay. or if the game has any effect on how your attitude is, motivation. Uh, for me, I'm a gamer too, but I feel like I learned there's there's so many things I learned from video game, and I feel like it's not really affects my education. Like, if you know how to. If you know how to set up the schedule, you know how to play what t what kind of video games should you play. Like I don't feel like it's a the negative effect of video game like that. Yeah, I think I'd kinda look into like what games how their effects are like personally I don't think sports games have like a bad effect because it's like if I play a basketball game it's kinda just the same as watching a basketball game to me. And I'm even more involved in it, but like playing a game like Call of Duty might have a negative effect because like <laughs> Killing and using weapons. Uh, like violence. That in real life. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Thrown at him. Uh, hi, this is Nick's English teacher. You can stay in the frame. Uh, so just so you know how it's going in our class, um, we're looking at different places for information. Um, so. Right now, uh, we have access, and just like you guys at your school, you have access to different databases. Um, so right now, we're just looking at uh, a database called EBSCO, and he's just going to be searching for his topic in one particular database. But in fairness to Nick, he was sick all of this week, uh, and we just started this week, so today's his first day back. So when we're talking about the research, he hasn't had a chance to actually um, do much uh, new research other than what he already knew. But anyway, and the stuff you're going to see on Youth Voices are people uh, today, they're doing um, research on their topics and they'll be posting what they're finding just in one particular database. And then we'll move on to other databases too as we go. But that's kind of how it looks in the class right now. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Um, him, 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 him. Um, him. Nick. 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 Excuse me, Nick. Yeah. Does everybody see what a sixth graders post? We repeat that. Does everybody, like in, like in California, stuff like that, can they see what a, a, a sixth graders post also? 
Yes. They can see your post on Youth Voice. Yeah, I think they can. Yes. Yeah. So you yes. can pick up and look at you up. You can look each other up, okay? Hey, look, 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 you got it. You're combing on. Um... So let me see a second. Can I? Take it up. Tell up. Yeah. Hello. So here's. Hi, Leah. Thanks, Mama. Um, so here's what I want to do. Mama, do. Lousy. <laughs> so, could could we just have our students talk very briefly about how they play video games and, and the, the effect that they may think that has on them? I'm not going first. I'll go, I'll go. Okay, go ahead. Would that be okay? Hello? Yeah. That works. Hi. Good, Nick. And if you have questions to ask them, now's a good time. This is Noah. Oh, uh, Wow. Go ahead, no. Uh, I don't think I don't think video games affect us. What do you play? Um, I play GTA Five. I play GTA Five. I play all the games that came out, and I don't think that they affect me. I mean, I, mean, I, I go with both sides because it does affect me. Me? You know when you're in school and you go straight to the games, you forget everything that you learned today. You, you everything you learn. I don't understand. Okay. All right, like let's say if you learn something new today and you go home and play a game, you that forget about what the teacher said and did and did your work and everything. Really? Yep. That happens. That happens to me because in fifth grade I, I learned about algebra. Oh my God! I was in my game. I forgot. I forgot about the whole algebra. Oh, no, it's not gonna be. Hard. I said hi already. I said hi already. Yeah, but it's too loud. Go to the next room. Okay. What about you, DeAndre? Do you play games? Yes. It's fine. I play like um shooting games, like action games. Like those are the games I like. And some of the new games are games like Call of Duty Ghosts and stuff like that. I think it's sometimes. Hi, buddy. My name is Bumpale. Hi, Drew. How can I use good, good, good rule, good rule for scientific research? I think right. we can go back to DeAndre's uh, answer of how the video games he plays. We can talk about Guru in a in a minute. Okay. It affects me sometimes because um, you see, like Noah said, Noah right here. Because when he said that um, when you get home, you learn something today. When you get home, you just forget about it the next day. And it kind of affects me. And I have to restudy in my books and stuff like that. So, yeah. But the, but the good side is that if you really, if you really want to learn about school, you can learn what you learn and go home and play your games, but then study again the same day after you play the game. You can still turn it on. Watch. Yeah, for me, I usually try to do my homework before I play video games. Just exactly. So that I yeah. Get I, done I, first. All my life. Let them talk. Go, go, go finish. Go. Oh, all my life I have been doing that. I have been doing homework first because I can't just go home and play games. I have to do homework. Yeah. Just like um, what's his name again? The 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 one the Nick. Okay. Just like Nick said. Yeah. Sometimes though, I feel like when the new game comes out, like Call of Duty or something, all your friends want to play. So then you just go home and play straight away without doing any homework, and then that just kind of no, can, like create a habit. Like <laughs> playing all the time. <laughs> the games that really intervened with my schoolwork have been like on my phone because it's always with me, and you, I can always just pull it out. So I feel like those kind of disrupt like learning. And stuff like that, so you gotta kind of, you gotta make sure that your phone is like away, and that really will make a difference. So, what games do you play um on your phone? Like uh, like Angry Birds, and then I also look at iFunny a bunch. Oh, cool. So. Do you do you um have um is it that's the game the Spickable Me? Spickable Me. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You have that? What game? The Spickable, Spickable Me. me. Uh no, I I don't have that game. Oh, the like minion game. Oh, I used I used to play that. But like games like Temple Run are pretty fun too. I kind of Candy Crush. Really... Can I just say yeah. that someone on the low? 
is ever since Temple Run came out, everybody's trying to make a, a, a new copy of Temple Run. Yeah, I've seen some of those. Uh -huh. As it makes a lot of different Temple Runs, so a lot of different but variety. Temple Run, is Temple Run, Temple Run, is Temple Run. Who wants to, um, um, finish and Ferb Temple Run, Agent P? Like, come on, stick with one Temple Run. Yeah. Have you ever played on Flappy Bird? Nah, I'm I'm gone in Flappy Birds. It's not really my type of game. It just made me want to break my phone, so I deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I am. Do you guys play Flappy Birds? Yeah, I yeah, play. I play. Yeah, I What's your high scores? Sometimes I want to break my phone. Lost some sound. Oh no. I think sometimes. Yo, beautiful. Carl. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just want to ask, like, have you learned anything good about video games, like, before? Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. Uh, have you learned anything good uh, from video game before? You tell me don't uh, anything good. Like yeah, I think, like, in the sports games I've played, I've learned a lot about the sport, and, like, even, like, in the NBA, you can make, like, a team, and so you just kind of learn how that works and, like, how to manage the money in that game. And in Grand Theft Auto, I guess... You can learn how to manage your money in that too. No, Assassin's Even though it's in a violent Creed. way. Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed teaches you kind of history stuff a little oh, bit, yeah, but I don't know. They kind of make it seem. They kind of make it really cinematic, but there still is kind of like historical stuff to it. You know, going back in time like that. But yeah. Call of Duty, you learn how to play as a team. <laughs> yeah. Teamwork team so, out. Yeah. So like. No <laughs> Do you agree with me? Like, it's not about like video game, but it's about like how you play the video game that affect you, right? Yeah, I think sometimes too. They another positive aspect is if you play online with like your friends, because I know some of the kids that I play with were all friends at school, and so then it's just like another con way we connect outside of school. We can talk and just play them together. Yeah, that's like GTA Five online. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I think like. Um, Video, uh, video game with like it's not really but like we can learn many things about video game. We can learn many things from video game. So yeah. it's the way like how you play video game that affect you. Not yeah. you. I think when problems come in is when that's all you want to do. It just kind of takes over your life and you just play video games all day. But if you can like manage it, you don't want to stuff, then it can be good. Mm. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, mm. you know, like uh, how much time do you spend? To I'm waiting. Wait, What's up, yo, Noah? Yo. <laughs> You're muted, Carl. Um. Yeah, some of the games have really intervened with my schoolwork. Have been like on my phone because. It's always with me, and you, I can always just pull it out. So I feel like those kind of disrupt, like learning and stuff like that. So you gotta kind, you gotta make sure that your phone is like away, and that really will make a difference. So what games do you play um, on your phone, like? Uh, like Angry Birds, and then I also look at iFunny a bunch. Oh, cool. Oh. Do you do you um have um is it that's the game the Spickable Me? Spickable Me? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You have that? What game? The Spickable, Spickable Me. Me. Uh no. I I don't have that game. Oh, the like minion game? Oh I used I used to play that. But like games like Temple Run are pretty fun too. I kinda of really crush. Can I just say yeah. something on the low? Is ever since Temple Run came out, everybody's trying to make a a, a new copy of Temple Run. Yeah, I've seen some of those. Uh -huh. As it, it makes a lot of different Temple Runs, so a lot of different but variety. Temple Run, Temple Run, Temple Run, Temple Run. Who wants to um um 
Finish some verb sample run, agent P. Like, come on, stick with one sample run. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have you yeah, ever played on Flappy Bird? Nah, I'm, I haven't gone in Flappy Birds. It's not really my type of game. It just made me want to break my phone, so I deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I am. Do you guys play Flappy Birds? Yeah, I yeah, play. I play. Yeah, I What's your high scores? Sometimes I want to break my phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just want to ask, like, have you learned anything good about video games, like, before? Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. Uh, have you learned anything good uh, from video game before? You tell me you don't game before. Anything good? Right. Yeah, I think, like, in the sports games I've played, I've learned a lot about the sport and, like, even like in the NBA, you can make like a team, and so you just kind of learn how that works and like how to manage the money in that game. And in Grand Theft Auto, I guess you can learn how to manage your money in that too. No, Assassin's even though it's in a violent way. Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed teaches you kind of history stuff a little bit, yeah, but I don't know. They kind of make it seem they kind of make it really cinematic, but there still is kind of like historical stuff to it, you know, going back in time like that, but. Call of Duty, you learn how to play as a team. Yeah. Team, team so, works out, yeah. Well, like, do, do you agree with me? Like, it's not about, like, video game, but it's about, like, how you play the video game. That affects you, right? Yeah. I think sometimes, too, they, another positive aspect is if you play online with, like, your friends, because I know some of the kids that I play with were all friends at school, and so then it's just, like, another con way we connect outside of school. We can talk and just play them together. Yeah, that's like GTA Five. Online. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I think like um, video, uh, video game with like it's not really bad. Like we can learn many things about video game. We can learn many things from video game. So yeah. it's the way like how you play video game that affects you. Not yeah. you. I think when problems come in is when that's all you want to do. It just kind of takes over your life and you just play video games all day. But if you can yeah. like manage it, you don't want to. Look at your This is Miss oh, Um, over in Oakland. Can I ask a question? No, uh, on I have a question for you. Social oh, media shit. impact. Um, because oh, we have a student oh, also oh, uh, in our classes. We use a lot of social media for um to get the word out there about their field research. Can I? How have you guys used social media in the classroom at all? Just, just an open question. All right, let's. We're gonna get uh, uh, a girl Call of Duty player down here. Okay. Open <laughs> <laughs> there. Because uh, you know, I think that sometimes uh, Call of Duty might be stereotyped that it's only maybe males who play it. We'll hear Cassidy. Oh wait, no, but we also have uh, yeah, Vanessa. Like right. Okay, so maybe let's get some of the female perspective. Of video. Oh, John, I'm gonna send Johnny. Hi. I'm gonna send him. My mom's gay. And a host. Hi, I'm Cassidy. Um, I play video video games. I play Call of Duty mostly with lots of people in the class. Um, I don't know. Like, I guess like the bad stuff is like sometimes I get really like mad <laughs> at the game and I like want to throw the controller and like my parents will be like, "What are you doing?" And, that kind of gets pretty bad, but mm. like, overall, like, I think it's pretty fun to yeah, play. Let me send you. Hold up. And I think it's cool to play with a whole bunch of different. Hold up, let me send you. Oh, I don't know. let me do it. I don't need to send you. Shit. So, yeah. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. I play video games, and well, it can become addicting. Couple games. Well, if you use a you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Basically, that's what I do. Yeah. I get mad easily, and then I just be like, I'm gonna throw away the control. Yeah, I feel the same way, cause like everyone's like doing better than you, and you're just like, I'm done. Yeah. But then, like, sometimes you're like doing better than everyone else, and then everyone gets mad at you, and then it's like chaos. You know? Yeah. And then, then they all get you, yeah, cause you're a girl, and then everyone's like. Coming at you, yeah. It's hard to be a girl gamer, but you know, you gotta do it. You gotta. Do it. Girl. I think that there's a good thing about kind of game like Call of Duty. Like when you feel angry about something in life, like in real life, 
you hold them in the video game, right? Like yeah. Just, right? That's yeah, that's what I feel. Like, if you're angry, if you have a bad day, you just go play video games. That's yeah. kind of how I look at it. It's kind of <laughs> that's a good thing. Like, you are, like, going yeah. out on friends. You're just, go play video games. You know? Missy Nicole. Yo, yo, what's up with this? Video gaming can happen in the classroom at all. Do you see a potential for <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. I feel like it's more like a, a personal like hobby kind of deal. I feel like everyone like you're either really good at it or like it's not your thing because everyone has their own like games that they play. Because like there's Guitar Hero, there's Call of Duty, there's race car games, and I feel like everyone has their like own thing that they do. And I feel like it would be too hard to like put it in a classroom. I feel like people would get bored easily. How do you That's all kind of feel? Because we're, you know, your teachers, we're trying this out, and we're trying to see if we can have these conversations and um, between students, between whole classrooms, small groups, pairs. How do you guys feel about this forum of a Google Hangout, being able to have these conversations? I think it's good because then we get like different like a different state. I'm not I'm sorry. Okay, so can you hear me now? Can you hear us? Okay, so uh, what I said was like, I think it's good to have these because you can get your guys' opinion from like a different part of the country compared to where we live, and so I think it's just more like it's just better, I guess, because we we can all talk to each other, but we talk to each other every day. So getting your guys' opinions, I think, is a little bit better. And different informations presented. Want to try me? No. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Nick. Because we all get sick of each other and we see each other every day, so it's nice to have different faces to hear different opinions. I think it's good to have these because you can get your guys' opinions from like a different part of the country compared to where we live, and so I think it's just more like it's just better, I guess, because we. We can all talk to each other, but we talk to each other every day. And so getting your guys' opinions, I think, is a little bit better. And different information's presented. Want to try me? No. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Nick. Because we all get sick of each other, and we see each other every day. So it's nice to have different faces to hear different opinions. But I like it. <laughs> yeah. Cool. My topic is about exercising, and I want to see... Uh, like how exercising like affects like your mental health and your physical health because I've been exercising a lot and I just feel a lot better about myself and so I just kind of want to see how like do more research and get statistics and stuff and so that's kind of my plan to do on my project so um, Cassidy, do you want to potentially do a Google Hangout next week with one a few of our kids on this end that are working on um, Sports topics and say lifestyle, <laughs> uh, diabetes, uh, sports injuries. Do you think we could get a Google Hangout together and solve sports topics? Yeah, I'd love to. <clears throat> that? All right, yeah. we'll figure something out. Get Sounds ready. good. Thank you for Allison. Cool. Cool. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hey, I got a question for Noah. Nick, John? Yeah, I got a good question for Noah. Go ahead, John. Why are you so no? Why are you so interested in the cutting? Me? Yeah. Because I have family and friends that cut themselves, and, and I want them to stop. Huh? What did you say again? I said I want. I have family and friends that cut themselves, and I want them to stop. Oh, okay. John, Thank you. Yo, turn the light. What's your topic, John? My topic. Yeah. My topic is bullying. You can't see us either. Right. It's too so bright. You also Can you talk about board that board. some more, John? What about what? What are, what are you going to study with bullying? Uh, I want to know that why people bully and <clears throat> if they can stop bullying. They can't see us with light on. They they going to see us with dark. Be quiet. <laughs> Uh, you're also talking about racism and um, respect, aren't you? Yeah. 
Okay. And are those connected? Huh? Do you think those might be connected? Yeah. Oh, shit. What? How do you think they might be connected, those topics? How could I? What? Okay, we'll talk later. How do you think they're connected? Oh, I think they're connected because... <laughs> because many people do those things and they, they do race, racism. They don't know how to respect other people. And the bullying, bullying is not good for other people because they hurt other people's feelings. John, can I ask you a question? Huh? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, are you potentially trying to use like the cyberbullying? Yeah, I'm trying to delete the cyberbullying. I have a What's question for you, John. Like have you ever been bullied before? John, John, give me, give me. John, John, have you ever been bu bullied before? And is that the reason why you're you're gonna do bullying and racism? Yep. I have I have experience in that. Oh, alright. I have a question for the students and John about your topic with bullying. Uh huh. Um, so I'm a teacher in Oakland, and there's a there's a new program that we are thinking about using in the schools, and it's a it's a number or a website that students can contact anonymously. That means without them nobody knowing their name if they've witnessed bullying. Do you think that do you think that students would use that if that was available? Uh, can you repeat that again? Yeah, and this is for all the students out there. If there was a website or a phone number that you could call, so say you witnessed bullying, and maybe not just bullying, but you had a friend that was cutting or something like that, or you saw something online where people were posting pictures inappropriately or saying mean things about somebody else, but you didn't want to say anything for the sake of like someone calling you out, but you wanted to do something about it, do you think you would do that? You would use that website or that phone number in calling yeah. Yeah, I would do that just because of the safety, the safetyness of all people. Because uh -huh. it's not cool, it's not cool to get cut or you know get bullied. Period. Yeah, no, I agree. I just wondered if students, I mean, students have to want, you know, want to use it, and if they, if the tool's out there and they're like, whatever, I'm not going to use that. So I was just wondering if that was available, if you guys would use something like that. Yeah, I would use it or something like that. Okay. The only reason I would use it, though, is because I, don't want I, I care for the, for the people. Yeah. If other people are like me, I have, I've got, I have gotten bullied. I have gotten bullied. Like, it's not cool. No, it's not. John, right, John, in your report, did you say that people who get bullied turned into bullies? Yep. <laughs> because, but I am not a bully. Because I believe that people who got who gotten bullied, that they feel that they 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 yeah, they, they should book that they should bully other people too. Yeah, to know how they feel. Yeah. yeah. Don't show me. Because, because, because they want other people to feel. So you're kind of like my, um, my, our whole school has four parts, but our main school is called New Directions. Oh, cool. Secondary school. All right. And we're in the Bronx. Okay. Mr. Cool. Jacob. You I visited your teacher about a year ago, but he was in a different school, I think. Oh. And what grade are you guys? You guys are in sixth grade, you said? Yeah, we're in sixth six grade. Six and seven. Okay, six and seven. All right, great. I have a son who's in seventh grade. Oh, yeah? Mr. Ivan, can you tell us about rocks and minerals, like a little bit? <laughs> What do you guys think about using mute? It's fun, huh, that you can just mute somebody like that? No. 
What if you had that power in real life to just mute? By the way, you are. Woo! <laughs> Hi, Drew. Hello. How's it going? Good. <laughs> Hey, I, I, I used to I used to teach in the Bronx. Uh, do you guys know where Jerome and Tremont is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to teach at a school called MS331 over there. I used to go to that school. You did? Yeah. Oh but no. I used to go for M elementary. Elementary school PS306. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I, t I taught there for four years, so I sometimes I miss the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> Where is your school? Where is your guys' school? Huh? Where is your school? What street is it on? Oh, uh, we're in Tremont. You're on Tremont too? Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Four one one seven second. Awesome. Uh, we're in Taft Middle School, but the main school here is called New Direction. Got it. In a basement. What's the and you guys are on Youth Voices. Can I? You have your projects on there. Hello? Yeah. Can I show you one of my teachers? I'm in um, I'm in after school. And this is one of our other teachers, Mr. Paul. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Paul. <laughs> Her name is. My name is Miss Masardi. Yeah, that. Hi, Miss Masardi. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Alright, we're gonna go. Thank you. Okay. Alright guys. Bye. Bye. He just Bye. muted Mr. Drew. Wait a minute. Okay. Done.